All right, Matt, thank you. Well, she started playing guitar at the age of 10, and at 16, she was asked to join her first rock cover band. Since then, singer songwriter Regina Sales, who lives in Stroudsburg now, has developed quite a following of faithful listeners, and we're really excited for you to hear her this morning. Regina joins me now for Music Monday. Good morning. Good morning. Great to hear you. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for inviting me. We loved listening to you during your sound checks, and I know our viewers are going to love uh, your music this morning. So, talk to us a little bit about your journey. I mentioned guitar at 10, rock band at 16, you moved to New York at 18, you didn't waste any time. No, I was at that age where it's like, if I want to do anything in music, I got to get to the big city. So um, I loved moving to New York, it was a great experience for me. And um, I'm kind of a country girl at heart, so being in Pennsylvania, but being close to New York is, is a good place and gives me a wide base of places to play. So it's kind of perfect. Yeah. And what happened after you moved to New York? Did that kind of really launch things for you? Yeah, it just gave me a really broader perspective of everything that's out there in terms of music, clubs, venues, kind of how you go about getting yourself into places to play and, and so on and so forth. Great. And as I mentioned, now you're back in Pennsylvania. Yes. And I know this journey that you've been on, Regina, is really reflected in your music, right? Yeah. yeah. I, at first, when I was figuring myself out as a songwriter, it was mostly just um, writing about personal things that were happening to me. But now I'm kind of in a place where I can look at other things that are going on in the world and not say, oh, this is happening to me and I have to write about it. But it's happening to other people as well. Yeah. And, and does the writing come easily for you? or I guess it depends on the day maybe? It does, yeah. it really does. Sometimes it's like I could sit down and write a song in 20 minutes and other days I'll, I'll put a song down and I'm part of it and then I'll get back to it later, months later. So it really just depends on the, the topic or the song or how I feel that day. Yeah. <laughs> now how would you describe uh, your sound and your style at this current moment in your journey? Um, I think that I've always been more gravitated to belty singers like mm -hmm. Janis Joplin yeah, and Aretha great. Franklin, but I've also as of, you know, sort of gone on my journey, gotten into a little bit of a quieter style acoustic, a little, a little country, a little jazz even. Great. So yeah, just, nice mix there. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of eclectic that way. I like, it keeps it interesting for my listeners and for me. So yeah. It's good. And speaking of your listeners, I know they're thrilled because you have a new CD coming out in March, I right? I do, yes. I'm doing actually a live living room concert um, this coming Saturday in my living room. We've got an engineer and a uh, video crew coming in and they're going to oh, do a whole cool. video. And it's going to be some promotional stuff online. And Okay, so is that streaming on your website? It, it's, and it's not going to be streaming on my website, but there will be some footage from that video. Uh, Available pretty immediately, and it's going to just be song by song until the album releases in March. Oh, that's really exciting! So yeah. reginasales.com for more information on that and yes. your album. Yep. Okay, great. And you're going to do a new song for yes, us. Yes, I am. Right? It's going to be on the album. Okay, what's the song? The song is called Shakespeare. I I hated Shakespeare when I was in high school, yeah. and when I got into college, I really started to understand it a little bit better. And so it's kind of like boy meets girl wants to impress girl with some Shakespeare and so then the story goes and you'll hear the end. Oh good, so high school kids don't have to get the Cliffs notes anymore, yeah. they can just listen to you. <laughs> yeah, Perfect. sure. sure okay, can. well we can't wait to hear you. Regina Sales, take it away. Thank Thanks you. for being here. Dark 
So please, Mr. Shakespeare, please teach me your gentle bed like a ways. And I will know the greatness you have known. And I will spend my summer nights alone. I must have said something right, you're waking next to me. This poetry's confusing when it's at its best. Now you know my story, and I think you know the rest. So please, Mr. Shakespeare, please, teach me your gentleman like ways. Now I know the greatness you have known. I will spend my summer nights alone. Mr. Shakespeare, please teach me your gentleman like a ways. Now I know the greatness you have known, and I won't spend my summer nights alone. All right, Rick, thank you. Well, it is Music Monday once again on 69 News at Sunrise. Singer-songwriter Regina Sales joins me again to help us get the week started. Great to see you. Thanks you sound you. great. You're getting, I said, great reviews on Facebook and Twitter. So oh, that's what it's all good. about. That's what it's all about. So thanks for being here. Uh, so we were talking a little bit about your music, of course, in our last segment. In your downtime, uh, you de you've been developing a character education program in elementary schools that's paired with music, right? Tell us about that. Yes. Um, a lot of schools do. Uh, do like a word of the month type thing uh -huh. and so that was the original um, inspiration for the idea so I've gone in and I've taken words of the month in different school districts and kind of tailored it around uh, some popular music but some music I'll write songs for the kids myself and I come in and I talk about you know respecting themselves and the people around them and being healthy and just basically trying to promote being good young people that's so, great that yeah. must make you feel great as well I had to tell you I feel like a rock star they think that I'm like amazing and I have have what a you with them. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's so great. Much fun. That's great. And I know you're also in grad school, right? Yes. And how do you balance all the performing, the, the seeing the kids in elementary school, your own schooling? How do you do it? It's it's a little challenging yeah. from week to week, but um, it's definitely grad school. Going back to uh, or to doing the programs, the character ed programs, is what really propelled me to go back to graduate school and get a little more understanding of curriculum and how that kind of thing works. I'm getting my uh, master's in instructional technology, so I'm being able to incorporate a lot of that with me music and iPads and all kinds of crazy things. So, Great. Yeah. Wow, that's a, a good combination. And yeah. we want to remind people your new CD is coming out uh, in March, yes. so they can keep an eye out for that. Yep. Where can people hear you perform and get their hands on your music? Well, right now, because I'm in graduate school, mostly up around the Stroudsburg area, because okay. I live in Stroudsburg and um, going to East Stroudsburg University. Um, uh -huh. But um, occasionally I get out to New Jersey, New York. Um, I'll be in Rehoboth Beach, actually, Great. for um, uh, St. Patrick's Day weekend. Oh, nice. That'll and, be fun. Yeah, so it's nice to get out of town sometimes but yeah mostly just local for now but they can check my website you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter and okay. it's the best way I try to update it as much as possible awesome reginasales.com by the way easy yep. to remember yes. and you're gonna do another song off your new album right yes what this, is this one this is uh, some of my friends have nicknamed this the turnpike song I was oh, stuck okay. on the New Jersey turnpike oh. one day a little bored and yeah. I was like oh let me write a song Happened to all of us here. yeah right <laughs> so I ended up writing a song well the music or the the vocal part anyway and I came home and put the guitar to it and now it's a song all right so traffic's good for for something, yeah, right? Sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. We can't wait to hear it. Regina, take it away. Thanks for being here. Seven AM comes early. Driving down this highway again. Barely keep my eyes open. You make it hard to get out of bed. So close in my eyes. Gonna jump this.
Okay. And we'll leave you with a little more from <laughs> Regina Sales. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye, everybody. See you then. Some 